Okay, just woke up. I got my water, got my coffee. Time to do a Metroid Fusion speedrun attempt. Now, from my last few attempts, I have changed some encoder settings. Hopefully we can get a little more consistent frame rate. There might be a slight drop in quality. But frame rate was a huge issue last time. Time losses in this run could be eye doors, boss fights, and missing wall jumps. But we didn't miss any here, so we're good. We're about two seconds off of what I would have liked. Gotta remember not to go up there. I will be grabbing a few extra missile tanks and E-tanks just to make some of the later bosses a little safer. Times I'm looking to speed up are the charge beam section, morph ball section. Hopefully we can get a good Sarah's fight. Looking to speed up the wide beam section. Last run I did lose missiles there. Had to farm for a bit, so hoping we can uh, save our missiles this run. Hopefully save some time on the wave beam section since I did get lost last time. Bad enemy placement there. Ah, bad jump. Okay, about two and a half seconds off. It's not terrible. Oh, I mean, missed the jump. Oh, this sucks. Wow, haven't done that in a while. Oh, a sloppy missile section. However, later on, there are a couple sections that we can save some time. Definitely save a lot more time than we just wasted. Ah, right, we're gonna three cycle this door. Come on, really unlucky eye door here. Mm, going for the standard ledge just because I missed that wall jump. 
I'm going to be picking up the second E-Tank here, just for safety on Yakuza and Nightmare later on. Hopefully we can get a good Arachnus fight, looking for the one cycle, didn't stand close to him just so I can get the missiles off quicker. Oh, and he spins. Get the two cycle, can we get some bomb missiles? Can we get some missiles? Pretty bad Arachnus fight, pretty sloppy getting to him, however, hopefully we can make some time back up during the charge beam section. Hopefully the time we make up isn't from dialogue, since dialogue does not progress in-game time, and we wasted a lot of our time from sections that do progress in-game time. But we got the ledge grab, which is nice, always sucks to miss that. Another section I'm worried about is right before the crabs in the underwater section of Sector 2, Sector 1. Because that ledge grab there can be a little tricky. Definitely try and save some missiles here. Section can get a little tight later on. Just waiting for that missile drop just in case. Grab the wall jump there, which is nice. We're full missiles. We got the waste too because we got a bad cycle on that fan. I'm going to be picking up this energy tank just to make Nightmare and Yakuza a little safer later on. Also, Saras. Saras can be a dick sometimes. Missiles there, not three. Jumping over the crab, not shooting him with a missile, so I want to save those missiles. Being safe here, because falling down always sucks. Clean kill on the fan, jumping over to get the missile. Can we get a few missile traps? We do not. Killing helmet bro. Whoops. Picking up that missile since I didn't miss the other one. jumps. Oh. Unlucky vent cycle. 
Okay, we got another missile there, which is nice. Not gonna be getting the missile tank in the top left. Usually only grab that if I run out. Do get a missile drop there, which is always safe. Killing the space pirates since I don't really want to risk taking too much damage, wasting too much missiles. Always forget about this gate. This is a section I was talking about. Really easy to miss the wall jump up here. Not the wall jump, the wall grab. He didn't. Got a nice section there. Now will we get a nice eye door? No. damage there. I'm just trying to get the fastest cycle on the iframes of the eye. And that's a fast charge beam, so we did save a little bit of time there, about 15 seconds from what I normally do, which is good. Makes up for all the time we lost. Which is nice. Charging up so we can get the quick shot on this gate. Jump into the left, save a little bit of time in this room. Jump into the right so we can save a little bit of time in this room. I'm gonna try and go for the quick kill on this vent. If I miss it, I will just missile it. Missed it. But that room could have gone a lot worse. Oh, we managed to not take any damage there. Oh, but we missed it. Oh, wow, missed it twice. Wow. Wow, my controller messed up there. Buttons are getting a little tricky to push. Gonna be playing this section a little safer since the bugs can deal a lot of damage. Don't want to die. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now that we have the blue security clearance, we can run left and grab our bombs. there which just makes up from our sloppy morph ball did that miss? Ah, oh, that sucks. So Zabi will play nice. Zabi fight. Did waste a lot of time since I missed that charge beam on his second last cycle. But overall saved a good amount of time. Always love saving time on boss fights. Really nice way to save time off your in-game time. This SAX section a little safe. Don't want to die here.
playing this wall section a little safe. Can waste a lot of try time trying to wall jump up that. Better to just go for the safe safety strat. First ladder, or uh, we missed our first elevator of the game. Hopefully, that's the only one. sucked. Oh yeah, definitely don't jump underwater. <laughs> Slows your already slower horizontal move speed. Just makes it brutal. Idor? Hey, we got a nice Idor. Hopefully Sarah's will play nice. We can get a pretty clean boss kill here. Hard part of this fight is definitely making sure you land that flare. Fastest I've ever killed him, holy. I've never two cycled him before like that. Wow. <laughs> Saved a ton of time there. So we have our speed boost, now we are going to try and do our three clutch shine sparks out of sector four. First one here, let's see if we get it. Looks like we did. It's nice, we get to save a bit of time here. Ah, uh, 
we missed our jump. And looks like we got our pump control shine spark down. Whoops. Ah, uh, losing time on the screen transition, but I want to make sure I have enough room for the speed boost. Oh, and we missed it, damn. Whoops. BM speed boost. Couldn't get the bomb down before I picked up the missile tank. I'm gonna try and dodge these guys so I can save some missiles and I'll have to go to that recharge room. Looks like we have a speed run. The problem with not having to go to that recharge room is we do lose that missile tank. 
but triggering the boss fight should be pretty easy. Jumps once, jumps twice, down over him, shoot down. Trying to save as many missiles as we can here. Aw. JK, trying to waste as many missiles as I can here. Man. I'm pulling him to the right for the kill. Oops, ones. Nah, that wouldn't hit him. Come on, box. Come on, box. Jumps once, jumps twice. Come on, can I stop missing missiles? Oh, this is a bad fight. But it looks like we got him anyways. Now let's see if we can do anything fancy with our speed boost. No, we cannot. Hmm, okay, don't jump. Getting a little low on health, which is a little dangerous. Just because of that, I will be picking up this recharge room. Low health, low missile, it's always safe. And the variety suit area can be a little tricky with all the ice guys. Should have checked to see where that uh, joining sector your joining section of sector five and three was would have been useful. here while grab there. Saved a lot of time in that room. Just a little bit of optimization there for picking up the E-Tank. Now we have the SAX section and we remember from last time that we have to bomb this area. Good, once again I will be playing this section safe. Just cause dying to the SAX always sucks. Okay. 
hearing the SAS land, we can jump here. Now when we hear that door open, we can start falling. Okay. I'm just gonna take damage here, I don't really care. Gotta get through this room faster, don't wanna slow down. Oh, I should have jumped earlier. Now we got an eye door, which is gonna be mean. And hopefully we can save some time here. I found playing this boss fight very aggressively saves the most time. Phase down. Okay, and we did manage to save a little bit of time on our Varia suit. is always annoying. So many enemies placed everywhere. And once again, I'm going to be trying to save as many missiles as I can coming up to that wide beam section. Just because we're running out of ice beam or uh, ice missiles there does suck because of the lava section, we are going to be taking a little bit of necessary damage. And farming for missiles will become difficult since a lot of the enemies will give us health drops rather than missile drops. Mr. Jump. If you get that jump, you can just shine spark through that wall there. Kill the enemy, break the blocks in one shot. <clears throat> and we missed a 
jump again. Grabbing the ladder at the peak of our jump there, so we save a little bit of time, aiming down, shooting missiles. We will not be able to do that on our way back, because ice missiles will free them, freeze them. Will not kill them in one shot. Remembering to go to the left here, shooting missiles. Ooh, grabbing the missile, just in case we run out later. you shine spark in here but we don't need to since we now need to get back to the top whoops there's a gate in our way and that is ice missiles oh saving quite a bit of time there for 20 seconds Sector, I will be picking up a recharge just because my health and missiles are a little low. Making sure we kill all those enemies, so don't take unnecessary damage. Whoops. placement on those enemies. We gotta remember we can power bomb through that when we come back. Will save us a little bit of time. We can blow up the first one, gotta wait for the second. Falling through. Whoops. Gotta remember we can run down here now. Saves a little bit of time. Now we got our emergency in Franker Z. We've got good enemy placement in that room, and now we are picking up this recharge room. Just in case we miss a few missiles, we do have a really low missile count. I'd like to have about 35 before we start getting to some of the later bosses. But there's one missile tank we can pick up. But that'll be on our way back after saving the animals. That one doesn't waste too much time. It's only about, what, maybe 10 seconds out? Definitely save more time getting the pump room shine spark. Definitely sucks landing on this navigation room by accident. Last run, I landed on it, hit no, so I had to listen to the whole thing again. Oh, I missed my shine spark. BM door. Hmm, can't get through there. Huh. So it looks like we're dropping down. Ah, 
couldn't get the shine spark to jump to the top of this room. But now that we have super missiles, we can blast through everything here. And drop right to the bottom. Hug on the left side and switching over to the right over here. Let's just fall down a little more freely. Not too worried about taking damage here, it's more missiles. Gotta make sure you still have enough missiles to freeze the enemies in this room. I'm gonna be playing the safe, just in case I miss a few. Really don't want to be missing time here. Now this next section can be tricky. Okay, it looks like we got it. A lot cleaner than normally do. And we're through that. Oh, damn, I forgot about that. You always forget stupid little things like that. Oh well. Jumping because those platforms break away. These guys are annoying. I'm just gonna take whatever damage we do just to get through that. Hide or be nice. Nice. There we go. Going for the cheap kill on this boss, abusing the platforms, shooting our little scientist friend. Okay, and we got the kill, and grab it. So that's our wide beam, did save even more time there. straight down on that platform. So sector 3 is clear, now we just have to run back and get our power bombs. Forgot to pick up the extra E-tank in, uh, what is it, sector 5 maybe? When we went to get the Varai suit, but we'll get that once we have power bombs. We have to go and make our way back. Okay, I got the quick jump there. But now we have to go and save the animals, so we can't get power bombs quite yet. These fire guys are just in the worst spots. They aren't even that threatening, they're just annoying. Oh, and we fell. So instead of trying to jump back up and grab the ladder, we are just going to run through. And climbing up. Now, does this get us through quicker? No. Good to know. Still haven't streamlined this. Probably should. Don't know if I'm going the right way here. I haven't really practiced the return route. Mm, whatever. Take a little bit of damage. Not the end of the world. Okay, we got our nav room. I'm going to be picking up the missile tank here in uh, 
by the animals. Wastes a little bit of time, but we're far enough ahead that I'd like to make this run a little safer. A little bit of extra missiles does help on Nightmare and Yakuza. Since we'll probably run out in both of those fights, it is really close. We'll be picking the missile tank up to the left here when we come back. Just to put us up to 35. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot a door because I'm talking. We lost our speed boost, but dropping down. Another place that it sucks to hit that nav room. Got our wall jump. Shooting these guys just to be safe. Better to limit how much time you lose rather than go for risky strats just to save a little bit of time. It's really only important when you're going for world record. Which I'm not. Just gotta try and get some runs down. I have one deathless run, finished with a 111, but we can do a lot better. Gotta run back and grab our power bombs. Gotta remember we can drop down there again. And going for the speed boost so we can grab that missile tank. Might lose around 8 seconds. But it gives us a little more security. Ok, 
Okay, to grab no power bombs. Save some more time there. Definitely during that animal section when we took the safe route. Drop down, hugging the left wall. Now we have another scary SAX section. Going for the safer route here since I don't want to die, my health is really low. But we do get a red power up there, which is nice. Let's just heal. And now all that's left to do is backtrack and go for Yaksa. Okay, we froze those guys, it's not bad. Drop a power bomb and will allow us to get through here a lot faster. Hmm, <laughs> that sucks. to have picked up that extra energy tank when we got the variety suit we would have had it for yakuza we'll make that fight a little bit scarier but we do get an energy tank right before and a full health upgrade so should be fine haven't really died to that boss recently room. Gotta drop another one. We're losing a few a few seconds here. Ooh. Hate these rooms. Suck at falling. to skip that. Might as well just hit A. Okay, space pirate section now. This is really where the f run starts to get fun, but an hour in.
Hey, we got a nice side or so now we have Yakuza. Will he behave? So we stand to the right, he starts going to the left, and jump over the fire, wait for him to almost land, and we can jump over him without getting grabbed. Oh, looks like he's not playing nice. Nope. I'm taking a lot of damage for him. Okay, we got the second phase there. Ooh. Okay, it looks like we're in a phase two here. Mount of missiles, okay, safety strats. For backup strats, backup strats, this isn't safe. Okay, second phase down. Now we do get missiles, which is awesome. Ah, one more. That wasn't too bad. Not my fastest Yakuza kill, but definitely not my worst. Fortunately, we didn't die there, so now we just have to go and get the plasma beam. This next section, I'll... if I die anywhere, it's going to be here. But we do have a good amount of health. We're going to try and ma minimize the amount of damage we take from the bugs so that we have enough health to survive a couple of hits from the SAX. Really would have liked to have that extra missile or the extra energy tank, though. Just firing ice missiles. I don't even care if I waste them here. Okay, we got a little more. We got the grab, we didn't miss it this time. Things are looking good, and we do have full health. We got the freeze. I'm gonna drop the power bomb. Jump up. Ooh! I am scared. Hopefully we do not die in the next room. I'm gonna play that really, really safe. Come on. Okay, we get some health. Not gonna go down there. However, I will be killing the red guys in here. Just because I need the health. Not gonna grab that. Wastes a lot of time picking it up. Not charging up wave beam shots. Since it, I don't believe it one shots the bugs. Better to just go with ice missiles. There's that guy. A little bit of health there. <clears throat> just picking up a little bit of health, just in case. Drop him back down. Oh. 
okay, and we're at the idler, so we should be safe. That's really the scariest part of the run. It's that SAX section. Okay, and we are full health. Good. So dropping down, landing on this platform, and we get sucked in. Jumping up, dropping power bombs, trying to stay on the platform. You can get three shots there. If you want to be safe, just shoot two. If you stand to the right of this platform, you can get the power bombs off before the spores hit you. Maybe. That might just be bad. Yeah, there we go. Only scary part about this boss fight is the I-Core. Okay, now that's done. We just load them four missiles. Whoops. Mmm, taking unnecessary damage. Since we are at half, I might take the core a little safer. Oh, I'm out of missiles. Wow, that sucks. Okay, and there's our plasma. So we lost a little bit of time, which is expected, but we didn't die. We got really close. That was, that was scary for a few seconds, but we're good now. Not gonna shoot these, we're at full health, don't need to. Charging up. Okay, should be safe to climb our way out. Nice room, didn't get hit by any of those guys. Just gonna fire out plasma. Drop the power bomb. Pop. Now we're gonna get trolled by a bug. We are not, which is nice. We got these over here, last bug over here. <coughs> Nani? Prize Nani? Soreni. Chotto. Okay, now we're on to sector five. Three or four. I'm not going to get the recharge, should be fine. And we are sitting on our 35 missiles. Took a little bit of damage. Doesn't really matter. Now the red security door has been destroyed so we can get through. through this? No. Charging up just for that space pirate. Oh what? They don't die? That sucks. Hmm, didn't even miss.
missiles there. Picking up this energy tank. That's weird. Sometimes these blocks break from the right, sometimes they break from the left. Strange. I'm running to Nightmare. The only thing I'm worried about here is if he happens to circle more than once during the end of the first cycle of the second phase. Starting off, we are going to be using plasma shots to take out the gravity core. Two shots, and he will start to charge it. Six shots rather than five, that always sucks. Lining herself up for the next phase. Oh, and he didn't, so we're gonna get a quick nightmare kill. Oh, this is this is really good. Ah, oh, the parasites control you a little. Come on. Just need a little extra missiles. Okay, and that's our gravity suit. Save in one second. And then running to the left to activate the door, running back to the right so we can get a speed boost going. on that. That's not the worst. Lost a bit of time. Oh, I tried to duck. Jump, good. What kind of blocks are these? Never know what to use there. Just end up power bombing it. our red security clearance. Nice and quick. Oh, I didn't have to jump there. Yeah. 
Okay, that got us our speed boost we needed. Ah, we could, oh no. Okay, running back through. We need that speed boost in that section. Makes that whole platforming section trivial. Don't need to freeze anything. Drop in power bomb since it blows up the second wall as well. That'll let us grab our diffusion missiles. So yeah, I lost five seconds there just from messing up that speed boost. But we are remembering not to get lost getting our wave beam. So we should be saving some time. So now we know where to go. In the section with the blocks with the screw attack, you drop a power bomb and head right. Not gonna mess that up. He says before messing it up. I don't know if I should pick up... No, I'm not gonna pick up a... Uh, refill a room, recharge room, because there is an energy tank I can pick up. The missiles are a little low, sitting at about half. Eh, maybe not quite half, about 14 down. Bomb goes off when you're trying to grab a ledge, you fall. But we have our energy tank, which is nice. Running back to oh, we can kill these guys again if we want any little bit of missiles. So every enemy here will drop missiles since we are sitting at full health. Just picking them up so we can make the second box fight a little safer. Now we go right here. <laughs> uh, it sucks. The problem that got me last time is I was expecting a speed boost, which it isn't. It's just a power bomb. Why did those drop health? Huh. Okay, now we are full health, full missiles. This should be an easy fight. Never mind, I got hit. So, full health, full missiles. Now I'm gonna try and charge a shine spark coming out of here to see what I can do in that room, see if I can blast right up to the top. Hey, save time. No, I'm not out of power bombs this time, so we can't just power bomb that. Jumps once, and we are charging. We're waiting for him to jump on us. He's not going to. Jump, bro. You jumping? You jumping? Come on. Jump. Jumps once, he jumps higher this time, so we want to try and stay away from that. And then when he. Whoa! Why wasn't my D pad working? Come on, jump, jump, and we're on top of him, blowing him up. Aw, oh, 
Oh, we missed. It's unfortunate. However, we did pick up that extra energy tank, so we're not too worried about damage. And we got him. So now we're on to the core. This one does deal the most damage since it is your strongest beam. First shot's a little sketchy because you barely have enough room. But that will be our wave beam, so picking that up. Saved a ton of time there, wow! That's what happens when we don't get lost. Making our way back to the left, it will let us see the little Metroid room. Don't use your shine spark here. Just waste time. Run right to the center of the room, triggers explosions. I prefer to take the left side of the room here. I find it's the safest to avoid all the Metroid. If you do get hit, just double tap A. For reset your space jump. But we're through, so all that's left is Ridley, SAX, and Omega Metroid. The only one I'm really worried about is Ridley here. I haven't died to him in a while, but he can be a little sketchy. But you shoot him with Wave beam, avoid the tail, should be safe. Hmm, probably won't get sub 130 this run. Hopefully we can get one sub 145. Time I'm hoping to get like a 10, 101, 103, 105 even, but probably won't. Last time I got a 111. Looking to beat that. I'm just going to play the vertical sections when you're climbing back up with the screw attack safe. You can do some fancy things with the platforms, but I'm not going to. I'm grabbing this E-Tank. Wastes a few seconds, but it makes the next few fights a little safer. Taking damage from that Ripper. Unfortunate. Huh, those actually damage you, huh? And bad space pirate positioning. Sometimes he can spawn at the left of that room. We got one. Come on, where's the other one? We get two. Quick space pirate kill. We do have a good amount of health. Idor, please. Full health, full missiles, full bombs, Ridley. Come on, bae. Picked up by him here. He was the least amount of damage to us. Let's just hit him for free, not getting blocked by his tail. Pick me up. This is close. Oh, 
Oh, we got lucky there. We took a lot of damage. But we did pick up those extra E tanks, which if we didn't, we would have died there. Even though they do waste a bit of time, the important thing is that you finish runs. So picking up that screw attack, we did save a little bit of time. Now we just have to remember we can kill space pirates with our screw attack. clean section there. Ah, oh, I missed my space jump. Go left here. Going right to troll. Gotta remember to go up here. Okay, good. Got crab bro. Going up here, not doing any fancy things with the platforms. back into the lava room so we can get that actually we could grab oh no this is just a waste of time we don't need missiles anymore whoops oh well skipping the recharge room skipping the save room We should be able to save a second or two here. Just remembering that we need to stand on this platform twice. Ah, and there's 130. That sucks. Come on, come on, text. Should have picked up that recharge just in case. The SAX could go both ways. Not too worried about it. room, hate the vertical sections, except for the last one, because you can screw attack through it. This is the wrong way. No, this is the right way. Whoops. Yeah. 
Awkward. Escape in this save room. Uh, it might be a mistake. Okay, I say it's time. Hopefully we can do it. Should be able to. Easy fight, easy fight. Okay, here we go. SX, we jump down, it jumps down, we shoot and start charging. Shooting the plasma. Ooh. Okay, first phase down. We missed two shots, almost choked, but we're good. We're good, this is all planned, it's all for... Now, is he far enough to the right that we can do this? I think he is. Yes. What? No, what? What's happening? Come on. Okay, on to the SAX fights. That was really sloppy. However, we did not die and we did save time, so... Gotta remember to go left. Can't save anymore. Hate this room. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get the clutch screw attack. Shine spark. Is that it? I might be a little too high. Ah, a little bit too high. Oh well. Trigger the fight and wait for a little SAX, bro. Come on. Oh, whoops. I forgot to activate the death sequence. Uh, that's awkward. We'll be wasting about six seconds of air because of it. Hopefully we don't die here. I have been practicing the Omega Metroid quite a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bro, you gotta shoot faster than that. And here it is, gonna be mashing, not gonna be talking. Gonna wiggle. Shoot. Mmm, taking too much damage. Come on. Oh no! What's happening? Come on, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Oh. That was how you choke on the Omega Metroid. Wasted a lot of time, almost died, but holy crap, we managed to edge it out. Ooh, so that was Deathless Single Segment. Even though we lost time on that last segment, we are going to be finishing with a faster time. Might have ended that a little quick, so the RTA might be a few seconds off, but we are really only looking for that in-game time. So that might have been, what, 136.18? 136.20 for RTA?
Yeah, and we only hit one save point, which is nice. Might have saved a few seconds. Made up for our slow early on. Slow morph ball split, slow missile split. And it seems Adam is still alive. Sheep. And we saved the animals. Hopefully the frame rate wasn't too choppy in this one. I did change a lot of settings around, switch my encoder. The graphic quality might be a little lower, there might be some blurring and fragmentation, but the frame rate problem was just too bad. I don't really have a computer that can record and play at the same time with the highest quality. Well, that's not too bad for what is that, my second, second round of the day? right after waking up. So we got a finished run. I'm going to be practicing some spots a lot more just to minimize death. Still need to practice the Omega Metroid, which normally is one of the easiest bosses in the game. I just choke at the end of runs. And the uh, SAX section after Yakuza. I'm gonna go in and practice Ridley a little bit more. I'm taking a little bit too much damage. But I think for what I need, because of the amount of damage I do take from bosses, I do need those extra energy tanks. But I think I have routed it pretty well for for my needs in this game. Definitely no world record route. But it's important to finish runs first. First you finish the game, then you start optimizing your times. And we're getting better. Hopefully we can get some times up there was gonna post my last run, but it's the frame rate's too choppy. I got 111 in that one, which is fast enough to, I think, at 137 at this point in time on the leaderboards. Hopefully this one is a little faster. I am aiming for like a 103, 105. Don't know if we'll get that. We might get like a 102, maybe 101. If we get sub hour, that'd be awesome, but I don't think that's possible with my performance in this run. How'd we do? Clear time. 105, there it is. So we did get that 105. Not bad. Clear it is 15, because we did pick up that extra missile tank at the end that we didn't need. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a single segment deathless run of Metroid Fusion. And if you want to stay up to date with more Metroid Fusion video game content and some random art stuff, do subscribe. If you liked it, do like. Leave a like, it helps me out. And if you have anything to comment on, if you see spots where I can improve or want some tips on Metroid Fusion, uh, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.